So good morning, welcome to my vlog again, welcome to my video channel Tuesday it's 20 to 11 in the morning As you can guess I'm not out on the bike, I'm not out doing my 100 miles So as yesterday's vlog I had intended to go out and do my 100 miles today for February, or I'd hoped to Woke up this morning and it was a little bit foggy, sun was coming up Quite a frost, looked lovely um, and we decided to wait a little bit got an itchy nose, excuse me um, decided to wait a little bit and let all that disappear but then mistakenly last night for tea I had we had a jacket potato and some peas and a bit of salmon which was nice and I was talking to Sarah and mistakenly I put um, a little bit of normal I can't think what it is, it's olive spread the normal sort of dairy type olive spread on the potato, cut it open you know into two halves put some of the dairy olive spread on a little bit on my peas and of course I can't have that can I? so I realised straight away, scraped it off um, scraped off the top layer of potato, got rid of the peas that had uh, got the butter on wiped the plate and everything and then put my normal um, stuff on that I can have, the soya based one and she said oh well we'll see how you are tomorrow and sure enough not good this morning so I've been to the toilet three times already now I weighed myself when I got up this morning and I was 66.2 kilograms. I'm going to weigh myself again in a bit and I bet you I'm quite a bit lighter. But yeah, not going to go and do the 100 miles. I am going to hopefully go out and do some miles later. So get out on the bike and do some. It's not as nice now as it was first thing. I had hoped to go down into the Cotswolds. I had even considered using uh, not the winter bike, one of the other bikes. But with such a frost there'll be a lot of salt and sand on the road and they were cutting the hedge just down here the way i go out yesterday so it'd be better to go on the winter bike that's not got you know that's, that's got gate skin tires on better punch protection so i will get out later i will take you with me i've had a message back from wahoo i don't know if i've mentioned this in the vlog but previously i've mentioned and i've talked about my kicker slipping at the back and skipping and I thought it was a worn chain, changed the chain thought it was worn sprockets and worn chain ring put new ones of those on, it was still doing it took the free hub off and one of the poles wasn't in the right place so I cleaned all that up and put it back the kicker one design had got four free hub poles I think from memory this one's only got three so I put it all back and I thought it was okay again and then on Sunday night I went up Alp de Zwift with it on 100% ready starting to train for doing a virtual Everest up Alp de Zwift um, and on the steeper sections I mean it only goes up to what 12% 13% it might touch 14% at one point but it's, it's not like the radio tower it's 14 and just once or twice standing up on 100% in a 34 28 at the back, bearing in mind I'm only 66 kilograms, so it's not like I'm putting out a lot of power. And I was over what 280 watts, maybe 300 watts, that's all at those points. And it was skipping on again a little bit. So I raised a support ticket with Wahoo because typically it's just out of warranty, you get a one year warranty with it. I bought it from Sigma Sport in November 2017. I think it started slipping just before Christmas, something like that, didn't it? December. So, um, I've raised a support ticket and they've come back to me because when you go... Well, if I go back again. The reason I've raised a support ticket is because you can't seem to find in the Wahoo shop free hubs for the later kickers. You can get them for the earlier one, but not for the later one. So, I've raised a support ticket and they're trying to source me a... Um, new free hub but they're going to charge me £59.99 for the pleasure which is to be expected because it's out of warranty 
However, as I've said to them, that's okay, provided it fixes the issue and doesn't happen again in 8,000 miles or whatever. So maybe I go back to a kicker one, kicker first gen, because they seem to be more reliable. Okay, they're noisier. Maybe I get rid of it and try a Neo. Don't know. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Still waiting for a reply on that. Regarding the Facebook marketplace purchase that I tried to buy. Not heard back from the guy, so it's looking like I've been had on that. Luckily I wasn't buying a bike or anything like that, so it wasn't like I was spending a lot of money. But um, I'll have to contact the bank if nothing turns up and see what we can do about it. Yeah, anyway. Right, speak to you later when I'm out on the bike. So we're going to do the GCN press-up challenge. See how many press-ups we can do in 20 seconds. I've not done any press-ups for at least a year. So let's see how we get on. Might have to use the other camera. Set the timer going. And then when it gets to 20 seconds, I'll start. Twenty-two. Hurt my stomach that. So twenty-two. Haven't done any core work, haven't done any sit-ups, haven't done any what do you call it? Planks or anything for about a year. Need to do some, but twenty-two. So hello again, I'm back. Uh, change of plan as you can see. I'm not outside. I'm on Zwift. I'm heading up the Alp. Um, just take this off and warm it up, Ringo. Really nice. Yeah, change of plan. I've had lunch. I was going to go outside. But my son's come home from university. And. Um, He's only engraved up so he can get the tree. And I've got to take him to have his toe looked at at half past four. Oh, that's better. So, yeah, I've got to take him to have his toe looked at, which means I can't miss going out and not being back in time. So, I'm on here. And what I've done, I've had. Took the free wheel off again. The poles were still in place. Cleaned it. Light coating of grease, a couple of drops of oil. Put that back. And I've put the 12 to 30 cassette on to try. That was on the winter bike that I've replaced with the 34. Because I want to get power down to like 200 watts up here this is better so I'm hoping if I get time to do two we'll see how I do because I've got to go in about four o'clock and it's 20 to two it takes about an hour to get up here probably at this speed that's two hours, 20 to four, 20 minutes, 10 minutes to come down to 15 minutes. So it's just about to do it. See you later. So we're heading towards the top. Three more bends, um, another 10 minutes I suppose. So on this gearing, looks like we're averaging 220, 225. Still too much, so I'm wondering, 34, 34, maybe, do I go to my triple, 
and use a 30 in a front link so that I've got bailout gears. That's probably the best solution. And it's still jumping at the back. Don't know why they don't do four poles on it. Just stupid. Cheaper production, I suppose. I wonder what we're going to get at the top. This is my 11th ascent. Let's see what we get. Gloves again. Okay, so not pedalling on the way down, I get cold. So, doing the Everest up here, I'm going to have to pedal on the way down to keep warm. But if I need to go to the toilet or something, I can. So, we've got another 4k to go downhill, and we're coming up to 8 minutes. That's about 8 minutes now down the hill. I reckon it's going to be about 10, 11. And I've also got to figure out where I need to turn around to get all the things to reset, you know, all the sectors. So just rolling. It looks like it's 12 minutes getting down. Yeah, that resets them. Right. So I need to figure out whereabouts I have to turn for that. Don't need to. Don't want to do more than I need to. See at the top. Whoa. Two. No way I'm going to be able to do it now for them. Two have killed me. So maybe me doing an Everesting is a fantasy. What are we going to get? Yeah! Back time. Right. I'm going to go around here. Go down the hill and go in and get change ready to take my son. Thanks for watching. Oh, before I go, 492 subscribers creeping up. Nearly at 500. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next vlog.